December 15, 2017, was a special day for 66 remand prisoners, many of whom had spent years behind bars in Koforidua in Ghana's eastern region. On that day, a special court at long length processed their cases and most of them were released. <laughs> But returning to his village, 72-year-old Kojo Obeng found that he had lost virtually everything he ever owned. The frail old man now has to sleep on the floor in his brother's house. I Kojo was arrested in 2009, suspected of causing bodily harm to what he claims was an armed assailant breaking into his house at a time where he wasn't even at home. But his case was never taken to court, and for eight years and five months, he languished in jail. <laughs> It was the Danida supported Justice for All program, which eventually made Kojo Obeng a free man. The program was created by Ghana's Judicial Service in 2007, not to release criminals, but to decongest the prisons by assuring justice to remand prisoners. It has achieved tremendous success, tremendous success. Um, we have had the case of people who were locked up in prisons and were almost forgotten. <coughs> The prison mum there, prison has been turned down again. The name so, in Puka to me, every some months, but on by report, by report, by report, on Sana, on the time I be, I be here, who are my mummy, and then the time I die. Through the Just for All program, which has been funded by Danida, the cases of these people have come up for adjudication, and those who deserve to be, you know acquitted and discharged have been. They've received, they've been tried and they've been acquitted and discharged. The Justice for All program has helped reduce the share of prisoners on remand from about 33% of Ghana's total prison population to around 12%. With the coming of the Justice for All, uh, the remands, they have been heard and actually sticking on their case. We relieve them and the number two reduces from the prison. So it is very important to us. Still, Tamale prison suffers from congestion. With the congestion we have here, we feel very bad, but we have little to do. Ours is to keep them in custody. The NGO POS Foundation plays a key role in the implementation of the program. We serve as defense counsel or defense team for remand inmates in Ghana. POS Foundation is an important external player whose lawyers and paralegals visit the prisons, interview the prisoners, write applications, etc. About 98% of the people we're dealing with in prison are poor people. They are people who do not have the financial muscle to hire the services of a lawyer. So Justice for All gets in and makes sure that if you have not been heard, an immobile prison special court will listen to your case review your case, and then, if possible, free you to go back to society and then continue with your work. Despite ongoing challenges, the Justice for All program is an example to follow according to legal experts. The Justice for All program is a model that can be replicated in the region, something that's really had an impact and an immediate and obvious impact. While workers are constructing Danida-supported remand courts in the Kumasi and Tamale prisons, Kojo Beng is trying to cope with his new life as a free man. Even though he was never convicted and had to spend a grueling eight years and five months in prison, he was not compensated. <laughs> Me free, Tazino, not in Bissia Zana, may Bobby see a tear car. 